everyone, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Earthbound. Last left off, we had, uh, taken and, uh, managed to, uh, locate all of Pooh's king equipment while we were in the, uh, the underworld. We also found a strange spot. But, uh, I, I decided to take, go back, get some extra horns of life, and, uh, get the rest of the, uh, items the Tenda had. So I got all of his items. Um... I got the last two. I got the last bag of dragon eye he had, and combined with the one I had, I put those in storage for later. Um, I also got the Hall of Fame bat from Nintendo, which is I don't have it with me. It's it's only twenty offense less than the uh, Casey bat, and, and if my luck holds out, I'll be able to get the, that uh, last better weapon uh, soon. Um, I also got the talisman coin from Nintendo, which is. Which, unfortunately, was worse than what we have, so I got rid of that. But anyway, while we were in Sat while I was in Saturn Valley getting the uh, Horns of Life, I noticed uh, there's a little gathering going on here. Yeah, this guy says, complains about his name all the time. Yes, they are. There's something else. Yes, he is. Phase Distorter's been stolen. What the hell's the Phase Distorter? Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes. Hmm. Who could that be? I wonder if he smelled like one, too. <laughs> yeah, if I could just get it back, it won't be a problem. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, that's nice of you to bring him here. No! I don't want no gun dang tea! Yes, I'm busy. Don't offer me. Please, thank you. <sighs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to, uh, the Underworld before, uh, they make me drink some lsd lace tea this time. Which I don't want at all. And here we are, back here. Yeah, I'm trying not to level up too much. I don't want to get overpowered. You know... It's, this is obviously a very odd place. <laughs> we must be very deep underground for no one to notice the rumblings of the, uh, dinosaurs and the, uh, other assorted good things. <laughs> See, I, I, I really don't want to fight him. I, I, I don't want to get any more levels than I already have. Unfortunately, that's not possible. Oh, forgot. Yeah, she needs to be he uh is her needs to be healed. Yeah, that would be her. Let's go ahead and give her the plane roll, get that out of the way. Yeah, it's that guy managed to nail me a little bit. Oh boy. Just because you're at a high level doesn't mean you're invincible. Especially with these damn dinosaurs. Damn it. Get away from me, you sh Thank you. Like I said, I don't want to level up too much. I I wanna leave there's I wanna leave some challenges. Oh, by the way, uh in regards to Jeff's uh best weapon in the game, the Gaia Beam, uh it 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 hinges on the fact that I've got to get a, a one in twenty-eight, a one in one twenty-eight uh, drop item called the broken antenna from one of the uncontrollable spears in the uh, Lumine Hall. If you get it, and he and you have a good chance of him fixing it with, uh, he's got to have like a seventy-six IQ or something, which I don't have right now. Uh, but it, it turns into the guy beam if he fixes it. Uh, after this next upcoming event, I might get it. All depends, really. It's not that much better. But, uh... Well, that's your problem there, buddy. Let's go ahead and call Mama. That way you don't, you don't have to worry about homesick. Uh, but, yeah. If, if, I happen, if I happen to get it after this event, fine, I'll show it. If I don't, oh well. <laughs> It's no real big loss, unfortunately. It, it just, it's one of those 1 in 128 shots It's going to be very annoying. Kind of like the god dang sword. Oh, dang. Okay, the rumbling is very annoying now. 
Okay, let's see if I can actually make you son of a... Oh, I really hate that damn... Chomposaur. Ugh, makes me waste my frickin' PP to heal. Because he has to go cast fire and everything. Damn ass schmuck. Hey, ooh. Well, doesn't it look a little bit hot in here? A little bit sveltering. Let's march on in and get attacked by fire. Grand! For two for two new enemies, the major psychic psycho and the regular psychic psycho. <laughs> now these guys uh have these they, if I remember correctly, they, they have the ability to cast uh, fire, obviously, as well as they have the as well as uh, psi shield. So we want to take them out fairly quick, starting with him. Because he has Sci-Fire Omega. And, yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, just a shot. And... Yeah, we want to focus on at least him first. Out of the two, you always want to take him out quicker. Because Sci-Fire Omega will do a crap ton of damage to you. And, of course, with him backing up with Sci-Fire Beta, ain't helping at all. That's the one good thing. Jeff is not that affected by uh uh, uh PP attacks. Not usually. So that's always a good thing. Now he's both 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 these. You're an asshole. Oh, talk about close. Woo! And Pooh levels up to 70 with Offense 3, Defense 1, Max HP up 3, PP up 1. Alright. And we're going to have to heal her. And we'll do it using... A Luxury Jerky. Just, just to get it out of the inventory. Well, very nice. And for our first present here, we get a Speed Capsule, which... Um... Let's see... 34, 60, 38... Yeah, we all map. We know who's getting that. Anyway, uh, let me see here. And let's go ahead and head down here. And a new enemy with boss music: the soul-consuming flame, which, um, phrase is your best way to go right now. Trust me, you want to kill this guy quick. This, this, he, he does uh, fire attacks, obviously. But he doesn't have that much HP. But he has a very high physical defense. I'm talking you know, about 262. So, yeah, physical attacks are damn near worthless against him. So, take him out quick. What the hell? Okay. Now let's go over here. and Damn it, why the hell do I keep messing? Okay, I'm going to go in this room here. Which, yeah. And who are these guys? Uh, just another Psychos. Fire Psychos! Pyromaniacs and such! And another Blazing Fire, and what is it? Alright, let's head over this way. Like a soul. And we get a Cherub's Band. No, not a Rock Band, a Cherub's Bracelet Band. Increase your defense. Helps keep you from being hypnotized. Also increases your luck. Which... Woo! Two extra points. Ten extra points. Oh! Frack, I forgot. I forgot. I am stupid. I forgot to give Paul the uh, flame pendant. Because it's basically... It's the exact same uh, defensive power as the uh, rain pendant. But it, also, but it protects against fire. And right now, we need fire protection badly. And yeah, it's, uh, uh... Get attacked again by whatever this could be. And Ness leveled up after that little battle. And let's go ahead and go back to the other side here. And get attacked again! Yeah, pretty... Yeah, the, the, the fire pendant helps out a lot. If I can just get... No, oh, you son and of a... Jeff leveled up there. 
Let's see. I think I'm near the entrance. Yes. Let's see. We want to go up now. Provided I can survive going up without getting mauled by a whole crap ton of enemies. Crap, crap, crap. Unfortunately, those last uh, couple battles that I just skipped were of uh, the evil, the, where is it, evil elemental. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to show them, which I will run into them again and show them to you next time on the Big Man Plays Earthbound. Until then, this is Big Fat Plus, Sayonara, and maybe I should have brung some towels, because this is like a sauna.